happening? What's happening? What's happening? How y'all feeling today? Y'all know how we do. We're going to load this thing is up. Please go ahead and hit up about a good 20, 30, 40 people. You know we live with the five. That's what we do. Live with the five means as soon as we live, I would show sure enough appreciate it if you would um, share this with about five of your friends. You know, just invite them to the live. Because today we're talking about ancestral wealth, magic, mushrooms, and astrology. I guess I should type that in too, right? Ancestral wealth, um, magic. You know I'm always talking about magic. Definitely going to be talking about mushrooms. We drop the emoji in there for that. And then we're talking about astrology. Oh, I could have put money in there. But I think this is this is this is good right here. We hitting that. We hitting that. We pinning the whole situation. What's up? What's up? What's up? Bam, man! I'm getting ready to go live on the on. The, we gonna hit the Facebook and everybody up at the same time. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's been a minute since I hit one of these three pieces like this. So what's up to my IG family? What's up to my Facebook clan and my YouTube clan? I know y'all like, you ain't done a live in a long time. So I do be on Instagram a lot. And I do want to apologize to my Facebook crowd and to my YouTube crowd that you ain't been getting it. But I'd like to assure you that you are about to be overloaded on YouTube. Uh, what up, Trill Prosper? Rashid is in the building. Wagwan, Wagwan, Wagwan. Love Ocean is in the building. Icy Energy. She'll be here in a few days to get her bufo. Bam, 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 bam. You know what I mean? So check it out. Okay. I see all of the folks hitting me. They got things to say. Y'all know I got a two-day seminar coming up, right? Y'all know I got a two-day think tank coming up on Saturday and Sunday. And what I have realized is it's taken me a whole week to teach this particular class. Why is it taking me a whole week? Because there's that much stuff to share. So I like mapped everything out and I was just like, all right, peep this, peep this right here, peep this right here. And then it was just like, I can't do this in three days. And I was like, oh, I could get it down in two days. And then last Sunday I started talking and I was like, yo, this might take longer than what I, this might take longer than two days because some of the things that I was talking about on um, Sunday on Clubhouse, it just kept rolling over and rolling over and rolling over into more stuff. And I was like, man, this is a part of the class. So that's what we're going to get into today. Today, we're going to talk about ancestral wealth. I want to talk about ancestral wealth. I guess I'm going to have to bring you up to speed. I'm going to keep talking about ancestral debris. And um, because you got to know what ancestral debris is along with ancestral wealth and how this process of uh, working with your ancestors and communicating uh, really is some more insight on it. All right. Um, I'm OE Sun Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. I need you to post what's your team Zodiac and what is your team? Uh, I mean, what's your team Zodiac and what city and state you represent today? Also, make sure you hit five if you let me know you already done drop five. Also, a crazy big shout out to the um, Let's Talk Magic group uh, on Instagram. I mean, I'm not on Instagram, but on Facebook. And as you see on the bottom of the screen, if you're on YouTube and Facebook, please text hashtag sacred to 404-999-4251, uh, right? Just hashtag sacred. That way I have your information. I got a selfie. I know who I'm talking about, talking to. And I got all that information that I have. So most time when you hear the phone ringing, you hear that somebody that's just text me sacred. And then you're supposed to get a text back so you can fill out the form. Then that's going to make sure that whenever I send out something personal, you get it without having to wait. You don't got to wait till YouTube. Well, if I'm getting ready to do a YouTube, if I'm getting ready to get a clubhouse, guess what? You are already linked in. So I'm wanting to, I got to bring my Facebook crew in. I got to bring my YouTube crew in. Got to keep my IG crew up in that building and say, what's up? Ooh, 
Ooh, let's all start with a nice laugh, okay? So I'm going to go first and y'all go second. Nice big inhale. <laughs> so let's get the dopamine moving first, right? Um, what up, team? Aries in the building. What up? What up, nephew? Fayetteville, North Carolina, the two sixes in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, team Libra in Charlotte, I see you. Team Scorpio. How you Team Scorpio, New York City, and Georgia? Which one you doing? Are you straddling the fence? You got some wide legs if you're doing all that. What's up? What's up? I miss you too. All you got to do is pull up. What up, God? It's Isis. What it do? What it do? Um, I'm glad, you know. I don't know why YouTube has been shutting you out. Don't worry about that. You back now. YouTube let you in, so you already know what it is. What up, Camp Me Hazel in the building? Uh, you've been invited to the Psychedelic Conference. I look forward to seeing you there, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be in Atlanta. I'm not going to be in Detroit. I don't want I don't want you to say um, that you're going only to see me. Right now, I'm not going to be in Detroit for that conference. I'm going to be in Atlanta. Got a lot of stuff. That weekend, I have uh, toad ceremonies. I got some people that's doing toad in the morning and mushrooms in the evening. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I got some super psychonauts that talking about they finna ride up on me in the ATL. So I can't miss that. I haven't even done that yet. I've done toad and I've done mushrooms. I ain't done them in the same day. But I got somebody coming to do it. Baba Kalindi and um, Jerry used to do that down in Mexico. So I know it can be done. So we're going to get it done to, uh, this week, next weekend. Anybody that's interested, of course, in coming to the Jen Jen room and getting a ceremony in, um, you can go to workwithoe.com, hit the chat box, fill it out, or you can go to workwithoe.com and click on ceremonies. You click on ceremonies and then ta-da, that's going to take you right there. No, I ain't got no ayahuasca. Nope. That's my man, Chief Nighthawk, though. I know where the, I know where the fire uh, ayahuasca is at um, here in Decatur, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, wherever you want to be, um, in the 404. What up, Suleiman in the building, team, uh, Pisces, Team Chicago. I see Fort Washington in the building. Cancer Sun. Um, Team Cancer in Hotlanta. What they do? Team Pisces in the, in the South Cacalac. Were you Orangeburg? You Charleston? You uh, where you at? <laughs> uh, Rose Hill. Like I'm trying to figure out what to do. Santee. You know that's some of my stomping grounds. Austin, Texas in the building. What up, Kimberly Renee? I'm gonna be back down there in September in Austin. And I'm going to be wanting to go get some good food because they y'all known for the food. I'm going to be down there in the, the first week of September. So I'm definitely seeing what's up with the goodie plus. All right. And Cecilia, what it do? Peace, peace, peace. Look, Chief Nighthawk talk about, he said, whatever. Whatever the joint is, I ain't got the ayahuasca. Chief Nighthawk got the ayahuasca. And I just, I was telling somebody earlier today, I was like, that's the way to go. Not me. I need to have that same day experience too. Well, I like to hear y'all talking about it, but I like, but to be about it, let's get on the line and let's make it happen. But the first step is just to, just to stay in contact. You see where it says sacred text, uh, hashtag sacred to 404-999-4251 and watch what happens from there. Technology, baby. Um, right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nighthawk, tell them. But anyway, let's go ahead and get down into it today. Let's take a nice big inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. Let the shoulders drop. I am in the love of all and all love is in me. I am a part of all and all is a part of me. And I am one with all and all is one with me. And I can succeed as a part of all and fail as individuals. And I can be all that I wish in all as long as my wish is to stay in all. I am never alone. All is, I can. All does, I do. It's the J. All right, let's get it popping. Let's get into the. Let's get into the subject at hand. Hold on now, on YouTube. All right? Did you share this with five people? What's up, Cecilia and Golden Eagle? Nine nine. What it do? Uh, when are you in the Maryland area? As soon as somebody send for me. As soon as you send for me, I'm in the Maryland area. I'm in the Maryland area right now. I want you to share this with five people in the Maryland area. Do you know five people that want me to come to Maryland? I can't come to Maryland for one person. I want to come to Maryland for like 10 people. 
I already, I'm in the DMV. I got students in the DMV. What up, Ace? You see what's goody? Um, but I can't come up there for one person because I'd have been came up there for Ace. So Ace had to come down from the DMV. So, you know, that's what we're going to have to see some more folks. So please share this with five people. I thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Jersey girl in Florida today. Got my five grams of shroom ready to go. She trying to get her psycho not papers. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Obviously, you have to put sex in something in order to get a bunch of views. So tomorrow is going to be the sex broadcast. Which is, this is going to be about sex, sex, sex. We talk about ancestral healing. That's a high level conversation. Sex can be a high level conversation, but I'm wondering, like, shouldn't there be more people here? Hmm. But I know my YouTube clan is going to uh, share this with five people and my Facebook clan. Y'all going to share this with five people, too. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, ancestral wealth. So what I'd like for everybody to do for this particular example is list your last name. OK, I'm going to give a shout out to your ancestors, okay? So my last name is Carter, C-A-R-T-A-R. -A -R. You see them right over there, my ancestors, Edward and Peace, I mean, Patience. My great-grandmother's name was Patience, right? I need her every day. Every day I need my great-grandmama on my mama's side. And the name on my mama's side was Hilliard. And then my mama's mama's who was my grandma, her, her, her maiden name was Gadson. And my grandma on my daddy's side, her name, last name was uh, Simmons. So I'm Carter Simmons Hilliard Gadson. So those are four lineages that I'm directly on. So if you know your four names, you can put all four of them, or you can just put your daddy's last name, put your mama's last name on there too. You know what I'm saying? What was her maiden name, right? So let's call out some of these names so we can all stay together. So we got some Robinsons in the house. It's a lot of y'all. It's some Moors in the building, some Guns in the building, more Carters in the building. I see some Burnett's in the house, some Pruitts, Johnson's boy. Good Lord, it's always a lot of Johnsons, Robinsons. They out here. Some Aaron's is in the building, some Barrett's, some more Browns. I see some more Lawrence's. I see Walker, Fitzroy, and Demetrius. I see Washington, Jones, Scott, Harris, Lamont. I see Reagan, Vives, Patterson, and Rodriguez. You know once Rodriguez step in the house, we got some Rodriguez's and some Moores and some Johnsons and some Carters. This all is packed already. Okay, Lawrence's and Edwards. I see some more McCain's, Matthews, Bynum's, Thompsons. It's getting packed in here. Matthews and Sinkfields, Joneses. More Robinsons and Joneses is again, Lord. We know the Jones. They, the Joneses is always up into something. So, Whitlow's and Cons. This shouts out to all these ancestors. We summoning them all down right now. So, yes or no? Do you believe you can summon ancestors? Yes or no? Come on, now let's move on to that. I see Williams. I see Stocks, Melvin, uh, uh, Bordeaux, Pride. I'm a Carter on my mama's side, Perry on my father's side. Put it on that end. You then you with the program. I see some yeses that some people say, yes, you can summon your ancestors, right? So Ebony says it, Anuket says it. A lot of people believe that you can summon your ancestors. Now you can't summon them physically, but you can summon their energy, right? So when you summon someone, it's like you're saying, come here, right? Instagram, I don't think y'all inviting five people, man. Y'all just got here. What's going on? Instagram, I'm trying to see. Did you invite the five people? Because some of y'all didn't put five up there. I rely on this. Now, I'm giving out some fire. Jay-Z Wayne said, I do not currently believe this, but I'm open-minded. Well, Jay-Z Wayne, you are on the right track because you got an open mind. Thank you so much. And if you invite five people, I open it up a little wider for you because that's how we do it around here. So, you can summon your ancestors. Why can you summon them? Because you got access to them through your name. Through your name, through your bloodline, you have access to your ancestors. So since I got access to them, I can summon them. I can summon them spiritually because I got access to their name. So now watch the name. We're going to do the math. 
two, mom and daddy. If my if my parents both passed away, one is passed. I was, but I got two parents. Then they each had two, so that's four plus two. Give me six. Then this then this four doubled into eight. Eight plus six, that's fourteen. Then the eight went to sixteen. So sixteen plus the fourteen gives me thirty. So by the time you get back to your parents, grandparents, great grandparents, and great grandparents, you're calling 30 people in the primary. So everybody type 30 if you're keeping up with me right now. Thank you for the five cent. Appreciate that. Type 30. Type 30 if you understand how you can call 30 ancestors just because of your blood lineage. Just because of your blood lineage. Just type 30 if you're keeping up. Okay? And if you ain't keeping up, you could put like 27 or something like that. I don't really, if you don't really understand, don't put 30. But if you understand how I got to 30, just type 30 in. Okay, good. We're cooking with hot grease, right? So you can call 30 ancestors. Don't even have to know they, you only have to know their name. Because every time you go before your altar, let's pause. Do you have an altar? Yes or no? We got to we got to put all the we got to put all the stuff in there. Salute to Ramasu, head instructor of the Tamarian Institute. Big shouts out. So, do you have an altar? Yes or no? Okay, so we got some absolutes in here. We got some yeses. We have a no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got a portable altar. I like that. Okay. Uh. Claro key C. I do not know what that means. I don't speak that well of Spanish, so someone can translate that for me. Golden Eagle says no. So in contacting your ancestors, you need to have an altar. <laughs> Kiss the goddess that I got like 10. No, but I'm going to make one. That's cool because this weekend in the two-day workshop working with Oye, I'm going to show you how to build your personal altar. Okay? Oh, it means yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You say yes, you got one in storage, so you don't have one currently. You may know about altars, but you don't have one currently. Okay, all right, all right. Now, when you're communicating with these ancestors, I, may, I have an altar with owls. My last name, Sova, means owls. Smart. My last name, Carter, means the one who bears loads and cart. I need to put a cart on my altar. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so you can summon your ancestors. You got you a nice 30 piece, right? Good. You have access to them because of the bloodline that you're in. Bam. You've inherited also their stuff. So if you've ever had a parent or somebody die and leave you something in a will, you get they open the will up. Maybe like Okay, this is the Zohar too. You should all have a Zohar somewhere close by at all times. Little one, big one, get you a Zohar. And you open up the will and they start reading, right? And they start reading about what somebody left. Now, but the first thing before anybody gets anything, they must list your name in the newspaper for 90 days to see if you have any debt. Because if you owed someone right here, then they got to get paid before the whoever the receiver of the will can receive. Right. OK. So now let's move over to. A true story. My father died at crossed over, became an ancestor at 70 years old, and he had thirty two thousand dollars worth of debt. So the day he died, what do you think happened to the debt? He also didn't have insurance and we had to bury him on credit. So now you have a clue. What happened with my father? What happened with the debt when my father passed away? Who wants to guess? He took it with him. My father died of pneumonia. Well, that's what they say. They had lots of prescriptions, had him doing this and that. He was a cancer survivor. He had, had a stroke. But when they put down cause of death on the death certificate, they put down pneumonia. Guess what happened with the pneumonia and the debt? 
he took it with him. Yes, he didn't go to heaven. He didn't go to hell. Having debt don't keep you out of heaven and don't keep you out of hell. It's still yours. No, it didn't go to the next of kin. No. Mm -mm. I didn't inherit the $32,000 worth of debt, but I inherited the debris that came with him having it. Because his, his stuff wasn't in order. So all he could leave me was debris. That's what ancestral debris is. It's when your parents and your ancestors don't have their stuff together, you inherit their debris. If he would have had some wealth, then I would have inherited that. He had a wealth of knowledge. Mm. He had a wealth of strategy. He had a wealth of hand skills and fighting skills. But he did not have but he but he had some 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 ish going on. He had some shit that he didn't have cleared up. I inherited that first. I got the debris, right? Then I started learning about more about my altar, more about how do I resolve my ancestors' debt, which is the fastest way to clear up their debris, right? So his debt had to be cleared up on both sides. What about if you didn't know them? Do you still inherit them? You still get that debris. You might not get the debt, but you get the debris. Yep. And the debris is just enough to keep you from getting that ancestor to help you. Because if you don't clean up their debris, which is now your debris, you inherited a responsibility just like the responsibility that comes with your last name. Doesn't a responsibility come with your last name? Let me pause for a second. Yes or no, does a responsibility come with having the last name that you have? Just quick yes or no. No, I'm not saying that you only inherit financial debris. You inherit everything they got. If they got debris, you get that. If they got wealth, you got that too. Yeah. 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 What does that mean, yes or no? I think I got off track already. Right? So, he talking about yes and, oh, you talking about for the last name? Nah, bro. Yo, nah. You got the responsibility of that last name. When you go somewhere and you get famous, they're going to put your whole name. When you go somewhere and do something crazy, they're going to put your whole name. So it's your responsibility of how you are representing your ancestors because your last name, you inherited it. The debris of those randoms pops up out of nowhere like a ticket from 20 years ago. Yes, yes, which is why we're having this workshop at Work With OE. It's a two-day think tank. This is what we're going to be covering. This is a two-day think tank. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so... You got the responsibility. Here comes the debris. You got everything that comes with the responsibility. What up, Sensei? Sensei, we're doing the clubhouse tonight at 8, 8.30. Yes, my class is going to be so short tonight. It's going to be crazy. Absolutely. Um, we don't have to take on all the trauma, though, is what I mean. We can choose how to carry it. Depends on what your magic is. Now, this other thing is, what that... Just you saying that lets me know that you're smart, but you're in the minority because some people who ain't got no altar didn't know they could summon their ancestors, have no clue that they have all this debris around them. And if they have no clue that they have debris around them, they have no clue on how to clear it up. See, I'm a debris cleaner, debris, debris clearer. I'm a debris shoveler. That's what I do. And I use mushrooms as a part of my ancestral healing package because I had to heal me first. Uh, okay, so um, she says, yes, I feel responsible. I feel responsible for my last name, especially for the women of my family. There we go. Right. But your grandfather's side got 
his DNA from his mama too. So if you are carrying all the mamas of your family, you're carrying your daddy's mama, you're carrying your grandfather's mama, you're carrying your great grandfather's mama. So you can't just carry one side. You have to carry all of it. Yeah. What up, what up, what up? De Niro Tiempo is in the building. What up, Elama? Betty's in the building. Ty Phoenix is in his house. Are you at the fork in the road of life where you know you require specific strategies that will uncover what's next? You've done some spiritual work but still can't quite figure out how to apply those principles practically in your life. Ready to emerge from the shadows of inconsistency, confusion, and stagnation, and maybe head into the doors of clarity, prosperity, and everlasting peace. Well, listen to the vibrational frequencies of my voice and feel its healing powers. I am Mayet Ajay Ib, and honey, I've been where you are. At Internal Growth and Wellness, we create a personalized path for healing, restoration, and individualized evolution. So head on over to www.intgw.com and let's get started on your personalized plan today. Um, she says, I'm sorry, is it only finances, for example, not emotional stuff? Mm -mm, it's uh, all of it. You get the emotional debris, the spiritual debris, the psychic debris, the physical debris. You can have an injury that you think is an injury you got from playing football, but you had an ancestor who got shot in the ankle in two wars ago that you never met and you carry it. But there was a direct ancestor coming down through, through you know, they could have been your grandfather got shot in the ankle, never walked right again. And then all of a sudden now you have ankle problems from doing ballet when you was little. You'd be like, wow, then you never knew that your grandfather had got shot in the ankle when he was in the war. Man, this thing is so, you could call it deep. It is deep. We're going, we're going uh, past the surface, okay? We're going past, I'm glad she said, wow, deep, good. This is deep, yes. Um, so I like to get to my wealth. If you'd like to get to your wealth, just type in wealth. And not your regular wealth, but your ancestor wealth. Ooh, ba ba ba. I got some I'm finna show y'all. Um, I'm gonna put this over here for right now. Put this over here. Slide this back over here. Okay. So in 2015, there was a um Dr. Mitchell Gibson. Researcher and master extraordinaire was um, posting some some of the flyest stuff ever on Facebook for free, right? And one of the things that he stated was, "We all come here with at least somewhere between five and twenty billion dollars for us." Somewhere between five and twenty billion dollars each one of you have in the spiritual realm. I ain't talking about spiritual money that you can't touch. I'm talking about physical do re me. And there's room for you down here to have five billion dollars, to have fifteen billion dollars, to have all of that. You know, you can have as much as you want because you already have it. But how do you access it? How do you access it? So one way you will never access it is to stay at a surface level. You're either going to have to dig deep or you're going to have to move to a higher level. Normally you do both at the same time. The deeper you dig, the higher level that you elevate to. But you, if, if something is going on with your wealth, your personal wealth, we ain't even got to the ancestors wealth yet. Because once we start doing the math, what happens? What happens when we start doing the math? Come on, man. Y'all know. Somebody, who wants to say it? Does somebody want to say it? Come on, man. Say it. You got to put your mask on first. I put my mask on. I clean my stuff up. I could be getting closer to the five billion. Minimum. But then I got all this ancestral debris from these 30 primary ancestors. Ugh. Now, 
if I clean up, um, if I clean up their debris, what am I about to inherit? I'm just, I'm just asking this a real simple. If I clean up me and then clean up my ancestors debris, what's left for me to inherit? Ancestral wealth. I don't even, I only got to raise my voice. You see, when we start talking about real, real money, your voice start getting low. You don't got to get loud when you're talking about a whole bunch of money. You can, you can, you can bring it down just a little bit. All right. No, 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 no. Not financial freedom. That minimizes it. No, no. You can have financial freedom and still have debris. Because financial freedom means you have more coming in than liabilities that need to go out. And it's coming in passively. So if you have $9,000 worth of financial responsibilities, you see how I don't use the word bills? And then you have fifteen thousand uh, dollars worth of passive income coming in, then you're financially free. But you only six thousand dollars to the good. Now I didn't even say that was per month or per year. So no, we ain't talking about unlocking financial freedom. We're talking about unlocking ancestral wealth. There's a huge difference. Nobody's even talking about ancestral debris because Miss Sova, she studies a whole bunch of stuff. She's never even heard of this before. She's just like, what do you say? You know, what is going on? Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm looking for that particular number because I want to read it out to you. Um, how do I search in this? I know it's in there somewhere. One moment, please. Can I search? Is it up under edit? It's okay. I'll find it. I wanted to know, like, what was the billions talk? What was the exact number, right? Huh? Well, is this it? I know I didn't have to scroll that far. And I was like, where's the where's the math at? Uh uh, hold on, 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 hold on. I'm about to find it. 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 Hmm. Boy, 2015 was a cold year. Seven years ago. Good God. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. What is this? Wow. Mm, he said we should complete three to four wealth rituals per month. The energy of wealth and prosperity is very much like the energy of a muscle group. The more you use the group, the bigger and stronger it becomes. So if you didn't know that you could tap into ancestral wealth, but you got proof that you've been held up and stagnated by ancestral debris, you just need to apply the other side of I need to get my rituals up. I need to get my wealth rituals up every month. How are you going to tap in? I know you could use five billion. My relationship would change with you too if you had five billion. You know what I'm saying? Ancestral wealth of wealth, health, relationships, joy, orgasms, success of purpose. All of that's out there. All of that's on the line. You know what I'm saying? So, this is basically what the course is about this weekend. It's a two-day course. You're going to learn how to build an altar, a proper altar. A proper, power, a proper altar is a powerful altar. You're going to learn about um, a system of managing your energy that if you're not in my Inner Magic Academy class, you don't have. So, I'm going to also give you that. I'm going to show you what type of rituals to do with this new map. And you do not need to like know all of the astrology. If you're in my Inner Magic Academy and you see me every Wednesday like today and you think I've given you all of the tools, 
you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. So you may know some of the things I'm going to teach, but you don't know everything I'm going to teach. That includes Everett. Now, Everett is good enough where he, he done figured a lot of this out. I probably got two or three students who figured a lot of this out. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll see, right? We'll, the proof is in the pudding. Why don't you just try it? So we're going to go over how you use astrology, how you use mushrooms and psychedelics safely. Nobody's ever talked about this. Ancestors, mushrooms, safety, integration, wealth, relationships. You're gonna think this was a you're gonna think this was a, like a a, a, a a four month container. You're gonna be like, you gave me all this information in four hours? Yep. I'm teaching for two hours and then I'm gonna do QA for an hour after that's over. I'm taking all questions and everybody's leaving with a strategy. Everybody type in strategy, especially if you coming. If you already bought your ticket, type in strategy, uh, type in I'm coming for my strategy. If you haven't gotten a ticket in, just type in strategy. If you plan on getting a ticket, then type, I plan on coming to get my strategy. But if you already got a ticket, type in, I got my strategy. I'm coming for my strategy. That's if you already have paid and registered and done all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would like so many of us to remove some of these nagging blocks, which I refer to as ancestral debris, so we all can pop off a little more. I don't need a bigger house. No, this is just a part of my particular mission. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just looking around like, man, I got enough space already for all the things I have. I don't really want to buy something bigger so I can put more stuff in it. No, thank you. I'm good to go. Uh, but what I do want is to see what it's like for my ancestors' wealth to be unlocked. Because right now, all we know is our ancestral traumas. And guess what happens to ancestral traumas? We inherit those too. So you get the debris, but then you also get the trauma. Listen closely. So you're like, wait a minute, where's the... Whereas some of the trauma that you got in your life ain't even yours. But you don't got no strategy. You don't got no technique. So the, you don't got no defense against the trauma. You have no way to clean the debris up. You have no way to heal the trauma. So you look how much stuff is in between you and your ancestors' wealth. Yeah. I want to read something that I have on the site. Um... For those who are um, popping off, I'm going to just let y'all watch it as I read it. And on Instagram, you can just listen in. All right. Um, your personal healing journey is directly attached to the ancestral healing journey. There is no separation. Healing is spiritual, physical, emotional, and ancestral. Now, some of y'all see the sign that says early bird price. $150 until August the 8th. I'm leaving it at $150 until Saturday morning for those late birds who are going to get up at the last minute and say, I got to get in. Yeah, it's be a higher price. I don't know what it is. Dollar, $50, $250, who knows? Um, then it says, a lot of our desires, does any of, do any of us have desires? A lot of our desires go unfulfilled because we still carry so much of our ancestors' debris that we didn't even know we had. And yes, we have to clean up that debris that we didn't even create. That's why it's called ancestral healing. You're not you you are going into a task of healing at all. Not going in just heal half of it, knock all of it out the box, right? It is inherited responsibility from our ancestors. Just like the last name, we have a gross misconception that all our ancestors are healthy and are given superpowers when they cross over. That is not true. Many of our ancestors left this realm without having any truthful foundation or teachings of being an ancestor and unfortunately took a misinformed consciousness with them on a very perilous journey in their next path of evolution. 
Because when you cross over, it ain't over. You're just on the next path of your evolution. And it is dangerous. That's why they that's that's why you need that's why altars are here to help those people who are on that journey. If you want their help, then you're going to have to help them heal first. Simple as that. In my research, I have found that generational debris is normally started with starts with or is linked to some childhood relationship trauma that has never been addressed in the physical, spiritual, emotional, or metaphysical realm. This two-day virtual intensive will be a high-level think tank where I will share my research and strategies for high-level ancestral healing with sacred earth medicine on a microdose level. Like, I've been talking about all this, but I ain't even said nothing about the microdose. This whole thing, I'm going to jam it in there so you understand how whatever you are using psychedelically, you can use a microdose of that to assist you. So whether it's mushrooms, whether it's LSD, whether it's DMT, whether it's San Pedro, whether it is um, the cactus, whatever. Even if you're using cannabis, even if you ain't using nothing, you can still come and get the jewels if you ain't even started yet. But by now, if you're listening to this, you pretty much know that me and a lot of people I hang around and a lot of people who watch me, you're involved in psychedelics, but it, it ain't safe. Do you look at the background on my website? What does it say? Safety first. You can scroll You can scroll the words, but it still says safety first. And a lot of people are not, um, a lot of people are not really clear on what's safe, right? Um, there will be a very large portion of this work dedicated to identifying and doing high-level healing on relationship traumas that we all have experienced. Day one will be all about you personally. Day two will be all about ancestors and families, okay? Uh, join us as we go beyond the basics of microdosing and take you on a journey to find out what is really going on, why people do it, and the best way to do it. There's a lot of misinformation out there because our ancestors had a lot, um, and people are confused about the benefits of microdosing Doo -doo. and what you can really do with them. Sifu Oyi, myself, is here to clear this up and help you see the benefits of microdosing that goes beyond what you might have thought. You will leave this two-day virtual think tank with a very solid personal strategy and ancestral strategy. Just bring a very open mind as we dive into these indigenous practices. And yes, I'm putting my personal million years worth of gain guarantee on this one. Everything you need to know to successfully and confidently start your ancestral healing journey with microdosing or without. Yes, there will probably be some macro dose talk going on, too. You know, who knows? So um, that is um, what that looks like. That's what we're going to be covering. Chef Amir is in the building. Peace to the queen. One of my favorite Pisces. I in Los Angeles. I see Lucy Pearl in the building. And I'm about to jump off of here because I got a 30 minute Q&A with my team in the Inner Magic Academy. But that's going to be very short. And then we're going to roll right over into a clubhouse. So if you want to know what time the clubhouse is, I'm going to be sending a text message out with the link to the clubhouse. It won't be as late as last night. Last night it was late. It was like midnight. The night we're going a little earlier, way earlier. Um, I use cannabis and I plan on trying mushrooms next. Okay, Kimberly. Make sure you got the right person though. If you have not tried mushrooms yet, this is the perfect uh, workshop for you. Uh, what about Sal Salvia Divinorum or whatever hell they call it? Uh, you can start off with that if you want to, but once again, how do you stay safe? How do you pick the right people to sit with? You see what I'm saying? Uh, Suleiman says he's coming for his strategy. Kimberly says, I plan on getting my strategy. All right, I see you then. Free soul is on the way. <laughs> Anu kept bringing the whole clan. She said, we coming to get the strategy. That's what I'm talking about. And hopefully we're going to see Cecilia up in that joint too. All right. Um, bam, 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 bam. All right, uh, Skibo is in the building. What up, son? 
Team Burlington and the um, Team Pisces, Burlington, North Carolina. Is it Team Burlington? No, it's Team Pisces in the big city of the B Town. You have to be from North Carolina to understand where the B Town is at, right? Right outside of Greensboro. You're not quite in Raleigh, but it's some fine women in Burlington. But that's off the subject. Um, the link is in my bio. You can look at the bottom of the page. If you've already text sacred, if there's something that you're interested in, just hit the link at the bottom. If you can share this with some friends of yours, Lee, uh, coach, coach, coach OE would be so thankful. I almost say coach Kair, but that's not me no more. What up Leo gang, ATL in the building. Um, <laughs> Pata says, I love astrology because I get to learn about myself. A hundred percent. Kimberly says, I'm going to be there. I need some guidance. That's all that's going to be in there, but it's going to be high level guidance, right? Because I don't do any more surface stuff no more. And so I'm like, this is almost like my coming out party. Let's get, let's, let's start pushing past the basics. Ask, ask, ask my folks in my astrology class. I like to sneak up on you with the basics. I like to sneak up on you with the basics, and then I like to push forward after that, after we get the foundation. That's really my thing, is making sure you got a proper foundation in moving in moving through this gang gang, all right? Um, I think that's about all I got for today. I would love for you to tell me right quick, though, what's the biggest thing you took away from this? Do you have an understanding of ancestral wealth? Are you clear on how mushrooms may help you? I really didn't go into that, but... I got a larger section for that. Um, what kind of astrology questions, ancestral healing and ancestral wealth? You know, what what was your big takeaway from today's live? And also, are you coming to the clubhouse later? You know? Look, Nefer says she loves inner magic because it helps me with my inner peace. I know that that's one of her three daughters. And they wild, too. Woo! Good wild, though. They my little ninjas. Right. Um, the ancestral debris I got from this. Thank you, Golden Eagle. I appreciate that. That could be like the real Sade, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Like, she's got Sade's picture up there. Why would Sade use her real picture? That could be the real Sade talking about she the Golden Eagle. So so peace out to the Golden Eagle in the building. Um, Steph said, I'm ready to come down and get my five grams. Oh, let me make the announcement. I'm no longer serving five grams in the Gin Gin room. I'm starting everybody off at seven. Yeah. You can do seven twice, then do nine. Yeah. Or you can go seven, nine, nine if you want. But the five. <sighs> We're pushing the envelope now. We did. I, I did almost 100 people last year at five grams. Now everybody that I'm starting at seven, they have an even deeper, they have an even deeper breakthroughs. So that's what we're starting out at. If you are interested in having um, a ceremony experience here in Atlanta in the Gin Gin room, just go to workwithoe.com and click on ceremonies. Fill out the one for Fruit of the Gods, and then I'm gonna get back to you. Um, how do you determine? What is the proper dose to start someone at? She's asking a Saturday question, right? No problem. Um, I probably would ask you, what's your intentions first? Before I say, what are you going to do? Because I'm going to either say microdose or I'm going to say five grams. I got a whole video about why you should take five grams of mushrooms. The first time. Get it out the way. With a sitter now. With a sitter. Yes. But... Um, I couldn't just come off and just say, how do you determine? <laughs> what is that? Jokers is telling me to get off the live and pull up. Okay. Thank you for that question, though, Queen. Shoot, that right there. Put that in my Facebook. Post that on my page. And let's get to that. I really want to get to that. I like that question. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Biggest thing I took from this is that I need to work on my foundation. Show right. And she says I have a lot of ancestral debris. Yep. Okay. 
I got to go and run and get up in the class. I hope all of you, are, I hope I have your phone number so I can send you this text message. I hope I have your email so I can send you this email. All right. Okay. Um, let's take a nice big inhale. Big exhale. Anna Bakoa, get your like, get Tatia Tessera, Cabell Renata, I'm Chasak Venu, Tahara Nunara, Nagi Boy, the Shay Yikadeka, Kavava Shamran, Markham Tower, Markame, Tazika Taker to Mead Gamlin, Kasim Kadosh, Baru Tufka, Nahel at a Taker, Yakit Gail, I'm Chapanez, or Craig Katushka Taker, Shivatanu Kabel, Lushma, Tazaka to Nu, Yadea Tahamu, Baru Shay, Kavomakuto, Lalam Vae. I love y'all. Y'all hitting me with the opt-ins. I see y'all coming over there and saying, bam, bam, bam. Let me fill this form out. <coughs> I want to be in touch. You going to be in touch. I'm going to touch you. All right. All right, fam. One love in the building. Hawaii just fell up in the building. She been up in the building. She always in the building. Big shouts out to the Hawaii crew. All of them out there doing the microcosmic edit meditation and clearing the land and eating big mangoes. I love y'all like cooked food. I'm a holler. Peace.